tonight. So yeah, uh, Uncle Vic's mom is here, my mom is here, my grandmother is up front enjoying all the herby jokes. Uh, uh, so uh, yeah, make some noise if you guys like going to the beach. What about going to the beach drunk? That's the best place to drink. It's the only place left where you can drink outside and not face public urination charges. <laughs> but uh, last time I did that, I got a little too drunk. And uh, I saw my girlfriend walk in, so I ran up behind her, gave her a quick one of these. But it was somewhere in this motion that I forgot that I was single. <laughs> And I'm single because she cheated on me. Aww. No, I put it behind me. I moved on. I'm not trying to be the bigger person, but I did owe her money. <laughs> so, uh, when I get out of a long relationship, I like to treat myself. I like to enjoy my freedom. I was in this particularly lengthy relationship where uh, this girl was just really controlling. She was evil, she didn't put out, so I got out of there quick, three years, and and so I went out and I bought myself a motorcycle, and I started hanging out with other riders, and they all had names for their bike, and so I wanted to name my bike, but I'm a little bit of a romantic, and uh, I named it after my ex-girlfriend, true story. And a week later, I crashed, and that bitch is still trying to kill me. <laughs> but uh, that wasn't the worst relationship. My worst relationship, I felt like I was in hell. You guys might know it better as Stockton. <laughs> and uh, Stockton sucks. You know? I mean, I'm sure there are worse places to live than Stockton. Yeah, Fresno. Yeah, Fresno. Uh, Thank you, but Stockton sucks compared to living in the Bay Area or drowning. Um, but I moved out there because of a girl, and she wanted to go to school out there for acting in Stockton. <laughs> What are you guys going to do with that degree? What should you do with that degree? Porn, maybe? I don't know if you guys watch a lot of porn. I like these comics. Uh, but uh, acting's optional. You know? I mean, I watch mine on mute anyways. It, it's not so much the acting. It's the sound they make. It just makes me feel so awkward at the library. <laughs> and I'm not the kind of weirdo that will wear headphones. No. <laughs> so I put that shit on mute. And there, there's not a lot of fun things to do in Stockton. So far I've found two. One, not get shot. <laughs> Very fun. And two, not go to Modesto. <laughs> That was my favorite. Uh, but I, I guess I can't really blame my ex for going to Stockton because she came in from out of state. I don't really want to make fun of any other state, so I'm not going to tell you where she's from, Texas. And, <laughs> and so I got out of Stockton and came back to the Bay Area, decided it was time to start dating again, met a girl on the internet. Um, but it wasn't on Craigslist. <laughs> Okay, no, it was not great this. <laughs> she was nice. I was a little skeptical at first of her gender. And <laughs> she remedied that real fast. She she jumped the gun, sent pictures, they were a little revealing. Uh, that's the third time I've seen my mom naked. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
for those of you who didn't want the visual, it's right there. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I love the awkward silence. I'm just letting it build. I love the awkward silence. Not the one where you ask a homeless guy for change. <laughs> that one's only awkward because you know he has it. <laughs> but the awkward silence where you see someone you haven't seen in a while, and two sentences in, you run out of words, and you're both just standing there hoping a car jumps a curve and ends this situation. <laughs> That's my awkward silence. I love that one. I like to say something funny just to break the tension. Lately, I've been doing a lot of... I love you. <laughs> I will admit, the facial expression's a little much, and it's only backfired on me once, but that's okay, because he still sends me flowers. <laughs> At least somebody loves me. Hey, hey. Aww. My, my least favorite awkward moment, I guess, or, or situation is when, when a girlfriend calls you in tears and you're out in public trying to have fun. Because now you got to deal with her problems. And I had that happen, I was out with my friends, uh, Mike's girlfriend called me crying, complaining about something about a rash on her face. And all I can do is laugh. All I can do is laugh and go, ah, it's not my problem. <laughs> As you can see, I don't handle serious situations very well. And, uh, I don't know. I, I try, but I always get nervous, and I end up trying to say something funny, sometimes it backfires. Like, let's say, for example, I had to tell you that you had a week left to live. That was my job. I would probably mess it up. I would, I would try really hard. I would just look you in the eyes and be like, sir. Look, I'm already getting nervous. <clears throat> I have something... Uh, all right, I'm just going to say it. I need to borrow like a hundred dollars. I'll pay you back in a week. I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is when, when bad things happen, keep on the lookout for good things. Um, most recently I had a job, it was going well, but I got fired. Because apparently I was, I was lazy. And, I know. And, uh, my boss called me in his office, very disappointed, said I wasn't taking his deadlines seriously. But, to me, it was work. To him, these deadlines were life and death. So, he let me go. And I did what any sensible, unemployed person would do. This. And, uh, and let me tell you, this is way more fun than driving around in an ambulance all day. So. Anyways, thank you guys for coming out to Creekside.